you want to talk about little Kim? Yeah. And that face of hers? <laughs> Ooh, Hollywood has seen crazy transformations over the years, but Lil' Kim's, let's just say that a lot of people are still struggling with that one. But guess what? Kim actually opened up about why she's addicted to plastic surgery and how her addiction has gotten so severe that she needs help. Given, Lil' Kim pioneered mainstream sex positive feminism in the hip hop industry and she carved a path for many contemporary artists, including Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. She's also known for her breathtaking flamboyant fashion style, but something else that keeps people talking is how much she's transformed over the years because of plastic surgeries. Like how does one even go from this to this? By 2016, it was pretty clear that Lil' Kim had done a lot to change her appearance, with one surgeon even telling US Weekly, it's clear that there's been some skin bleaching. She's probably used chemicals which contain very high doses of acids on her face, combined with high acid creams to lighten her skin. A different celebrity plastic surgeon also told Page Six, personally, I think she should seek professional help. Based on these pictures alone, she's going to end up destroying her face if she continues. I mean, people have been calling her out for years. Like in 2019, she rocked the runway of the Blondes fashion show in New York City. And while she clearly owned the stage when she appeared, there were those who didn't appreciate the way she looked. In the comment section, one person was just like, love all this chick's music, she'll always be number one on my list. But I'm really confused, how and why would she go from a beautiful black woman to a light Asian looking chick? What the hell happened? She don't even sound the same anymore. Why do famous people like to look so fake these days? I just don't get it. Same girl, same. And I always say I know it's bad when fellow celebrities also been criticized by fans decide to jump on the wagon. Like 50 Cent was one of the people who chimed in when he compared Lil' Kim to an owl following her BET Awards performance. Just months later, he posted an Instagram clip of Lil' Kim comparing her wobbling dance to Lubden, the troll looking character from the 19th 1993 comedy horror film Leprechaun. Then he wrote in the caption, I'm sorry, I know it's early, but I don't know why shit this is funny to me. LOL. Will Kim be and Kim clap back at 50 with some shade of her own by responding, 50 Cent, I see you still in your feels about that dinner date you asked me on that I had to turn down. Let it go. You have a beautiful girlfriend. I have a loving husband. I heard that. Then there was Wendy Williams, who went really hard on Kim on her show. Kim, in my mind, I know your goal was always to look like Latoya Jackson. You've out Latoya Latoya in your new look. I. <laughs> And, and don't belay photoshopping, blame your plastic surgeon, girl. Again, trust Kim to hit back. As she told Wendy, stop hating on me because you suck Big's d and he didn't want nothing to do with your after that. Apparently, Kim was scheduled to appear on Wendy's show, but they've always canceled because her team wanted to have control of the questions and Wendy wanted to ask about plastic surgery and that was a no-go. There is also Bad Bobby who also commented on Kim's transformation during an Instagram Live. First, she made sure to let people know that she didn't mean to disrespect Kim and stressed that she's actually a fan. But then she also said that Kim wears foundation that's too light for her face before adding. The girl went and got a nose job to have to have a smaller nose like white people. Like y'all don't see that? She turned herself into, and I'm like I said, no disrespect. And yes, Lil' Kim responded by posting on her stories that Lil' Kim hate different. How the f I become a target in the middle of a pandemic? Now that's power. There's more important things going on in the world right now, but you better believe when this is all over, I'ma put a date and address on it and seal it with a kiss. Well, according to Kim, there's a pretty good reason why she was forced to go under the knife and it had a lot to do with the domestic violence she experienced in the past. Like somebody messed up her face and her body so bad that she had to correct things using surgery. Back in 2005, Kim actually explained that she had her nose broken during a physical confrontation with the ex-boyfriend. Yeah, it was hard. And I shared that story because people think, you know, once celebrities, especially females, get into the industry, they feel like we're so different. But I just wanted females to know that I went through the same thing while I was 
some people's role models. She actually revealed that she had to fix her nose not once, but multiple times. And every time she'd go through a procedure and come back to her boyfriend, he'd rough her up again and send her reeling into a tangle of insecurities and self-hatred. Apparently, it wasn't just about the nose because Kim had to undergo multiple MRIs because he was treating her so badly. She couldn't even move and she even suffered from blood clots in her back. Lil' Kim was so tired of lying about her injuries, pretending they were an allergic reaction and using makeup to hide them that she thought it would be better to get professional work done and wipe out those physical markings once and for all. Kim also said that the trauma led her to start her charitable organization, Lil' Kim Cares, which does extraordinary work in raising awareness and funds for issues such as homelessness, child neglect, and acts of violence against women. And the bruises she got from that relationship weren't the only reason why she considered plastic surgery. Lil' Kim also revealed that she faced insecurities for as long as she could remember because her boyfriends kept cheating on her with European looking women. You know, the long hair type. She just felt like she couldn't compete as a regular black girl and thought she wouldn't ever be good enough. In her own words, I have low self-esteem and always have. Guys always cheated on me with women who were European looking. That left me thinking, how can I compete with that? Being a regular black girl wasn't good enough. Then while talking about what she had to do to fit in, Lil' Kim was like, I did what I took to survive. I ran errands for dealers, lived with them, whatever it took to make ends meet. All my life, men told me I wasn't pretty enough, even the men I was dating. And I'd be like, well, why are you with me then? Oh, it goes on. According to Lil' Kim, something else or someone else who pushed her deep into plastic surgeries is her own dad. She said, it's always been men putting me down, just like my dad. To this day, when someone says I'm cute, I can't see it. I don't see it no matter what anybody says. Okay, I get it. She may have gotten a few procedures here and there to fix her bruises and injuries, but the thing with Kim is that she didn't stop there. And let's just say that even though Kim tried to explain everything, she was still slammed with comments about going too far. She even had an altercation with a fan who called her out for going too far, and Kim once responded to the fan, okay, but when did I bleach my skin, you miserable moron? My past post clearly shows Knows that but you haters will always have something to say even when facts are right in front of your face but I understand you're just doing your job as a hater but understand this I checked my calendar and I still won't give up Kim also later addressed her haters when she was being honored at the Women in Entertainment Empowerment Network Awards where she said when I first got into this industry I received a lot of hate I still receive a lot of hate <laughs> but you know what I'm a very sensitive person, I'm a cancer. Yes. And so it, you know, I used to it used to bother me, but you know what? Every time I talk to God, he used to say, honey, let them keep hating. And so I just said, yeah, yeah, okay. I got God on my side. What y'all gonna do with it? What y'all gonna do with me now? So yeah, Kim may have said that she got the surgeries done because of the domestic violence she experienced, but in your opinion, do you think she took things a little too far after that? Can't wait to read your thoughts in the comment section below.